Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base One, Seventeen's Nana Tour, Seventeen in the Sioux, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we are checking out Kiss of Life, Get Loud music video, and their, I think, second mini album. Um, this is my first real comeback with Kiss of Life, and I'm very excited because technically Sticky was, but I still, at that point, knew them just a little bit. So this is like my first real, like, I know their names and faces comeback. And on Patreon, we did check out them on Dope Club, and... Coming Home Next and K-Star Next Door and probably something else and we're going to keep doing some stuff especially in towards the end of October and then in November because I'm sure they're going to have more coming out. I don't think I posted it yet but I did just react to Natty on uh, Young G's show but I'm going to post this first because I delayed this quite a bit because I was not in a good place um if you don't know if you're new to this channel one direction was like is like the biggest source of happiness in my life from like 14 to now which is probably 13 actually so like 12 13 years um and obviously if you've been on the internet you know what happened and then before that, we had the whole Sung Han situation. So it's just been a rough week. Um, so I don't want to talk about it too much because I'm kind of emotionally exhausted from it. So this was delayed a bit. Same with Itzy's because I just couldn't... I, I just wouldn't be in the right... Like, I'm still kind of... Uh, but I can't delay it too much because I do need to have some happiness. So yeah, let's hop into the video. We have a fancy little... Okay, they were like baby wolves. In the other video, the uh, Ariam video, weren't they? That's him. Oh wow. Queen, let's go. Oh, whispering. Okay, no. Okay. I love Natty in his blue jacket. I'm wondering how the chorus is gonna sound. I love the uh. Oh, let's see. Okay, there's probably an actual, like, no, like, this ha- like, we got, like, water, fire, earth, air, like, we got the avatar elements, like, because, yeah, air, fire, earth, water, because, eh, the, the airbenders tend to wear, like, yellow and orange colors, um, which can kind of overlap, but, like, I feel like it's usually given a yellow color, like, when you're- Showing the elements, I think it's usually yellow. I like this. This core feels different for them. This is like, what, what genre is this? I love Hano's hair, like it's like wavy. Hey, hair down, let's get it. Ready! Oh, 
<laughs> I feel like I always compare them with Cheetah Girls. But it feels Cheetah Girls. It feels Cheetah Girls to me. It feels like step up, step up, time to work it, step up, that I do for real. Say it now, it's time to work it, now. Like if you watch Cheetah Girls, I heard. Like this, da -da 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 -da, like that kind of like delivery. Listen, I gotta heal my inner child today. Just let me be happy. <laughs> it reminds me of Cheetah Girls. Thing, but the jacket is cool. This is like a very. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of scared to say anything. <laughs> like, that's very traditional boy group choreo. And I like that she's doing it. I feel like. I like when groups, like traditional boy groups, do more feminine choreo, and traditional female groups do a bit more male choreo, like one of those. Because, like, why is it gendered? <laughs> And I was only like, that's not boy group choreography, girl. But like, I know traditionally choreography that boy groups do. A guy can shake his hips and a girl can grab their invisible crotch. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I know girl groups do it. And I know boy groups have been doing it, like vice versa. Like, I know boy groups can shake their hips and throw their ass back. I know, but usually it's given to female choreography, <laughs> and I know girl groups can grab their crotch or whatever and thrust and stuff, but like, it's usually given to boy groups, so it's cool when the opposites do it, because it just, I don't know, something about it feels a bit unique. Um, this song, I feel it could have been boring, because I feel like it's a pretty chill song. But because, like, I feel like some people won't like that. It's like, won't like the song for some reason. I don't know, I have this weird feeling. People are going to think it's very minimal, very boring. But I feel like I don't need songs screaming at me and, like, making cluttery noises and shouting. Like, I kind of like the laid-back vibes with it. It's also fall. And to me, fall is chill music vibes. That's how I describe fall. Like, I feel like summer, bright, happy, poppy, winter, slower, depressing. And then I feel like spring and fall is kind of like, I still see spring as more summer. I kind of combine those two. But I feel like fall is like, we're not quite sad yet, but like, we're getting there. Is the baby come and get it? It's the delivery. I feel like this song could be boring, but they switch up the delivery, they ebb and flow, the rap kind of added. The rap had a purpose because it added energy and i feel like that's when i feel like rap is useless is when it feels like it's there but doesn't change or add anything to it and i feel like they placed the rap in the right part the rap was actually good maybe i'm in love with julie shut up let me be biased <laughs> i don't know i'm just you know i'm just vibing Well, I feel like Kiss of Life last year weren't at the height that they are now. I feel like they were getting there, but I feel like they blew up more this year, so. No, like, the raps were useful. Like, I'm just happy. Listen, I probably sound very drained today. I told you I'm emotionally exhausted, but I need my girls to make me happy. Let's go. Natty looks so beautiful. I love how Nola's come back. She looks great. You and I were from different side. I really love the instrumental, but then this delivery. 
But I gotta look up if there's any credits here. Lose Yourself? Is that the album? Third mini album. Oh yeah, the first album had their solos. Where's the... There it is. Oh, No credits here. Once again, another country vibe from them. Oh, it says Perry is credited. Of a song. Like, which is this Perry Edwards or? Okay, I don't think it is. Son of Perry Edwards has. Like, Little Mix in general have integrated themselves into K pop, so I wouldn't have been shocked. This is a vibey song. Chemistry. The only thing, the only credit they have is. Bell helped compose uh, Get Loud. Jin Soul. Not our Jin Soul. They're playing a lot of their vocals here. It reminds me of tennis a little bit from is it oh my god it's you okay yeah this one reminded me i think it's tennis by itsy it's from their mafia album um which is like i don't know i call it country but like i know it's not actually country but like kind of country vibes it's a bop though. It's a bop. This song is so short. Why is Igloo? I was so excited for this one too. It could still be good, but I was kind of excited for this one. And it's, it's just two minutes long. Who the fuck is this? Oh. Is this like her character? Like, no, she's like. Is that really me? That track. Okay, so. I feel like they uh, know how to work their voices. Yeah. 
I may make a- oh, that was another- I make a new song link? That's not bad. I don't know how to feel about the song. <laughs> so they might have reminds me of the song 1-800-whatever from Let's Out of Femme, which I don't like that much. Uh, the song grew on me because... I just kind of separated it from the album because why I didn't like that song was because I felt like the whole album was very campy and like not serious and I don't mind a fun song as long as the other songs are like really good and kind of balance it so I think I can accept this song more because it balances and I feel like these lyrics are better um there are definitely some lines that make me a little mm -hmm. a little cringy a little where was it the natty line Every summer I come out and make them just feel like claws. I don't know, like that. For some reason, that line just felt really. I don't know. I think it was the way it was delivered. I, I don't know. I was kind of like, eh. um. So I love like Hanul's part. I love the vibe, the the beat, like the fun atmosphere of the song. I just felt like parts of it could have been better, um, and can still be fun. I feel like people discount quality of songs, God, because. Like, they kind of excuse a song's quality by saying it's supposed to just be, like, a fun song. And not to take it too serious, but I feel like fun songs can still be good. Um, but this one wasn't, like, that bad. It was just kind of, like, parts of it. But I think overall, it's probably my least favorite, but it's not bad. I feel like, I, I know they can write better lyrics than that, but they didn't write it. Who wrote this? Jo Young kyung Wait, no. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Arenia Karimi? I don't know. Maybe they're not fluent in English? I don't know. It could be, though. <laughs> It says too many Alex. That's the title. I, I was very curious about this title. So is Alex an ex? Four Alexes out there. Alex can be a boy or a girl name. So I'm gonna make it a little bit. Even though it's a boy. Why are you all English? They know their audience, I guess. They're like, mostly y'all are international. Here's some basic white boy names. Okay. Too many Alex. Does it mean too many Alexes or too many texts from Alex? Yeah. I don't know why that was a play on the name, but I don't know. This is a fun song though. It reminds me of Ariana Grande. What's the song on her? That one album. Ariana Grande. It's not a dangerous moment, is it? Like Johnny Boy or something like that? Oh, 
No, what is the friggin' song's name? Uh, it's not forever, boy. It's like, um, The Sweeter album? What album is it? Jason's song. That song. Jason's song. Underrated. Underrated. Fun song. I was like, Johnny? Like, it was like, start with a J. It's like a fun, like, just vibey. This is such a bop. Yeah, Uncle Robert, Joe Mark Tyler, Alex Daniel, John Paul O'Brien, Michael Robert, Joe Mark Tyler. All fanboys are like freaking out. You got those whistle notes. Did I? I didn't really mind that. Tyler, I'm sorry, Tyler. I told you, fanboys are. I think it's just. Okay, all men are the same. Gotcha. That's it. I, I feel that. That was a fun song. We needed that. That was fun. It's like fun, but like well done, and beautiful vocals. Bell, if you don't stop flirting. Okay. Now these glasses look edited on. Is that Bell? Sounds like Canola to me. <laughs> Guess so. Good job, not an expert yet. <laughs> I love the way it's pulled back like this. Ooh. Oh, she's slowly becoming my favorite vocalist. I love her nose voice in this album. I feel like they utilized it more. Or maybe I'm just like, because I, I know her more now. I can like, almost like, appreciate it better. And the other, other videos kept messing her up. So sometimes I thought it was Belle, but it was actually Hanoi or something. From the previous albums. <laughs> So I feel like this would be Belle, and then Belle's part would have been her novel, but like... <laughs> this is like a, like a festival song. Like, this would be cool, like, I don't know, like at Coachella or something. I mean, I've never been to Coachella, but from the performance of that scene, this feels like a good festival hype song. Bullshit. Mm. Belsa, we curse in here. Ooh, that was a nice closer. Okay, last song. No one but us. Okay, Adora partook on the song.
I feel like this is the era of pop music that I like. I feel like I preferred their more R and B stuff. This is more like uh, Dua Lipa, I guess, and like probably XCS, like 2012 stuff, 2014. I don't know. I mean, I do like it. I'm just saying, like, overall, I feel like I'm preferring their more R&B vibes. Like, this is like that era of Little Mix that I didn't care much about. The confetti era and all that. It's more like 2017, I guess. Because I don't really like this. I don't like this. But I love, like, the build-up to it. But I don't like the fate drop. It's like that Fifth Harmony album without Camila. Like that type of music, I don't really care for it. <laughs> but I love everything else. I just kind of wish the chorus was better. I like the lyrics to it though. Where is them? Get their other album. I feel like I just prefer their other album. Where is the other album? Cause like Midas Touch and Nothing are bops. Yeah, Born to Be XX. Let's hear. We have bad news. Yeah, that sounds like I gotta. Oh, you. Yeah. For real. For real. Yeah, I think I just prefer that album more. I don't know. And then Midas Touch and Nothing. And then Sticking to Kyoto. I don't know. So I like this album. I would say it's not my favorite album. I would say some of the songs just... like I feel like they went to an, a different era. Which I know Idol has always trained their music. So like, it's kind of expected. Because I love Chemistry and Get Loud and R.E.M. Uh, I feel like Too Many Acts is really fun. Igloo's actually really good. I just didn't love some of the lyrics. I kind of cringe. Um, back to me. Let me see. What was Back to me? <laughs> I'm mixing it up with Too Many Acts. Yeah, I feel like this one was one of my favorites. I just don't love the whole fake drop and everything and that style of music just reminds me of like just a lot of certain songs from eras that i just they all started sounding the same um but yeah i mean i, I just prefer their other songs a bit more but like this is such a fun album it's not at all bad <laughs> i just 
prefer the more r and B. I I just... Like, I don't like... I guess it's EDM, maybe? Um... But yeah, it wasn't bad or anything. Um, but yeah, let me know your favorites and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. The wise men say the swilly cooks of the old and wine all obey me. Oh, like a legal foe, so long gone in